You know. I know that the, the uh, necro or whatever is what is happening. You put in the effort and you run. I mean, those are really difficult obbies that I. Someone's changing the channel of the game. What's up, guys? My name's Antoine, and today, today we're playing a shovelware's brain game. Now, this is supposed to be somewhat creepy, and it also involves another fruit. So maybe similar to Miss Lemons. I don't know. But let's get into this and see what this is about. And uh, it looks like we get to join the game. There's already two people in there. I guess we'll we'll get right in. Talking about states. Talking about states. Stop the presses. Are we talking about states? Okay, what about states? It's supposed to be a trivia game, and I'm gonna be really bad at this. Just From to give you a heads game, up. It's the Shovelware's Brain Game Home Version. Okay. This deluxe board and card game kit includes an intricately detailed recreation of the Brain Game set, a complete set of questions and their answers, six player tokens, and That's a lot of things. Own miniature audience. Get the whole family involved in a fun, exciting, and most importantly, edutaining game mm. of Shovelware's Brain Game. Right from the comfort Sounds of your Sounds like a lot room. of fun. I still would be terrible at this. We're trying to win the prize. Let's hear the question. One of my old directors once told me that I needed to have more chutzpah. That chutzpah is what stars are made of. I am... But I don't think that's quite right. Okay, I was going to say I have I no think idea. stars are mostly made up of one of the four fundamental states of matter. Which one is it? Uh, plasma, liquid, gas, solid. I think it's plasma? If I'm correct? No way! Did I get it right? Easy! I'm so good. I am destroying these kids. <laughs> so, Zoo Pals, a big laundry. Do I earn the prize? I feel like I should have earned the prize. I'm just laundry. saying. I got it right. Let's air out some of the big laundry with a big laundry category. So, imagine you're in a clothing store. You overhear a conversation between two people. Oh, yeah. I'm totally into beanies right now. Beanies, huh? No, I'm more into deer stalkers. I mean, how fetching, right? I don't deer know. Stalkers. I don't know what deer what stalkers is this? are. 1800s? No, if you're gonna pick a weird one, it's gotta be fezzes. I don't know what any type of, of this. What are those two weirdos? I mean, people talking about what uh, types of hats? They were. I, I'm guessing. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with shoes, but I I don't know if the beanie part was just the. It, otherwise, it's hats. We were all wrong. Uh, types. I was just types of. Ha I should have just went with the beat. I thought they were going to talk about something else. So there'd be a humorous uh, content, and yet I haven't laughed even once. So the audience interacts. Do you want a refund or something? Uh, a refund. Uh, That's the one that he's going to laugh at. No, you simple fool. What I want is much larger. I want. A refund would be quite nice, actually. Well, you left now, so you can't have one anymore. He got you. He did get you. I didn't realize there were going to be types of hats, though. I thought I thought the beanie was to throw things off. Categories for those hardcore shovels uh, studio fans out there. All seven of you. What type of burgers bounce best, bro? Mm, slider? What ones bounce bex best? Organic ones? What? That doesn't even make sense. Nope. What bounce? What bounces better? Buoyant burgers. Oh my god! I didn't even read buoyant. Should I be taking notes on this? Um, no. This isn't school. I didn't read buoyant burgers. I'm so stupid. This isn't school. Thank you. And he took notes. Got it. I think he's gonna. We've reached the end of the round, so it's time to bring out the winner. I'm pretty sure. I tied because someone left, but before that, since players retention and player time and are oh so valuable, we'll be showing the prize th the winner will be receiving. What are we receiving? As seen on TV, it's oh. the all new Dinner Blaster from Harkinian's Home Appliances. Setting the table got you down, cooking meals for the whole family, giving you arm cramps. Those and we're just gonna shoot dinner at right, everyone. This patented dinner blaster. Seems load up all seems the good. <laughs> take aim at the kitchen table, and you'll be the king of home cooking in no time. Never wonder what's for dinner again. And the lucky winner of the fantastic prize is it should be a tie because the other people left. 
You're this episode's grand champion. Nice! That's I all. totally didn't round. deserve it. We'll be right back I didn't deserve anything. There's supposed to be like other stuff in this too. I know that. Uh, next round starting soon. So we'll, we'll try that again in like two minutes. What's over here? We have coins. 37. Can we like go in these rooms? I don't think we can. There's so many like things out there side of the arena let's try this again i didn't really get a, a play in the beginning so pre-recorded on tape but technically live for hours oh ah, yes pre-recorded introducing the banana with a plan get ready for me to mess off. this up because i'm going to it's so far pretty good though thank you thank you i'm a contractually obligated to be here that's great to know. Hey, thanks for joining us. Pick a category. Any category. Uh, okay. Uh, pff, eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prizes. What is, what is that? The more prizes you get, the easier the category is. It's eyes on the prizes. Who notarized the certificate of education? The document that signifies you were exposed to educational content in Shovelware's Brain Game. I have no idea. The Board of Entertainment, the Board of uh, uh, ent Entertainment. Uh, 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 this one? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Please tell me I'm right. Oh, sorry. That's not right. Who was it? Oh, edge edutainment. I missed that. Welcome to the game. Regardless, it's your turn to pick up a category. Now, don't worry. We're all we're all failing this so far. Uh, what are you gonna choose? Pick pick a good one. Or let the timer run out. I guess that's also fine. Flags of the world. God no. No 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 no. Uh. It's, oh. All these normal this is getting. Have me pretty bored. You know who isn't bored, but is aboard? Here with our special guest question, it's Bordy the Smart Boy. Okay, that's someone hey, new. kids, it's your old pal, Bordy. Take a look at this flag. Oh, Which country does no. it belong to? Oh, no. Uh, Argentina, I'm going with. I don't have an idea. I have no idea. I'm not, I can't. <laughs> Awesome. Good job, man. Oh, I got it right. Why did I only get four points? Two official flags of Argentina, one of the sun in the center and one without. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't recognize the one with the I'm sun. Go ride some of the rides while I'm here. But I got four points. Later. It might have been a complete guess, but it doesn't matter. We're on the board. Happy to have you here. What category do you want? Puzzling puzzles? Nonsense non sequiturs. Dude, this is gonna be bad. We don't know how you got here, but it's time for some nonsense non sequiturs. That's a hard word to say. Is that the bonus prize time? Darn right, show him, nephew. It's so we get. Supply of dancing banana ice cream bars wow. They're melted. Delicious fruity frozen treat They're not gonna last. I used to eat those all the time as a kid, though. Absolutely guarantee aren't placed anywhere well, close. Similar now. ones. Similar ones. On the box. What an odd prize! Ready to add it to your collection? Let's see. The category is Greek history. Your question is. Don't give me. What? what? No, but it. What the f What? Nope. What? How was- How was that anything? Rubbish, I say. Exactly! Is that this quiz show- That was a dumb thing! That would've been pure guessing! Taking my uh, leave of it. Good day. The pair is leaving. There's a gift shop on the right, just past the exit. A gift, uh, you get excited about a I just love gift shops. I simply can't get enough of the rampant consumerism. <laughs> Welcome. You're gonna need to pick up a category, okay? 
So there's got to be something like kind of secret with this game. Oh, like I kind of. Like there has to be. This category is about various fears, phobias, icks, and all that. Claustrophobia is the fear of enclosed spaces. Yes. Such as this absolutely tiny recording booth they've shoved me into to read out this specific. I have booth. a little bit of that. I, I'm not too but bad though. Said recording booth has no windows and no doors. Oh. With that in mind, clethrophobia is the fear of what? Clethrophobia? It sounds like being <laughs> trapped. That's what it sounds like. But I have no idea. Someone just That's looked it up. Right. Someone 100% looked it up. Uh, <laughs> I still only got four points! Uh, claustrophobia is the fear of a closed space, so it's more of a fear of a specific type. Uh, claustrophobia is the fear of the actual situation of being trapped without an exit. I was also gonna say, it sounded like that. So they give out hints. Category time. What's your pick? I want memorable events. Talking about states. I guess, uh... Dude, I'm not gonna remember an memorable event. Memorable events! I'm going to choose it, but I'm not going to remember it. Here's a question about an event one might call memorable. Alexander Graham Bell, who patented oh the God. first electric telephone, was the first person to officially make a phone call. Yeah. He demonstrated his invention by saying into the phone to his assistant, Thomas Watson, in the other room, quote, Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. In what year did he make this call? Fuck, yeah, that's going to be it. <sighs> I don't know. When was the phone invented? It was probably in the 1900s, wasn't it? Not the 1800s. I just put the one of the the lower dates. I got it right. I'm a genius. So easy. I knew it. The phone call next to the room was. God, how you get rid? Well, you pick category. I was so smart. I was so big brained. I knew. I'm actually winning. I'm winning. Give it, do an easy one, please. Please do an easy one. Probably geography. Oh, probably geography. Not guaranteed geography. Uh, put your uh, geography skills to the test in this category. Well, probably something. I just love that jingle. It means it's time for a bonus prize. And I think we've only gotten a little bit. settle for a rectangular oh. when you can have one that shaped, shaped like a banana. banana. This dancing banana themed CRT television is here to bring some color into your life. I think a lot of yellow. yellow exterior I don't know about a lot of color. Expression. TV time will be that much more fun compared to the boring old TV it you looks, have now. It looks so Imagine good. you could be watching Shovelware's brain game and see double the dancing banana. And who wouldn't want that? God. <laughs> Bonus prizes are always so exciting. Will you answer the next question correctly and win it? Uh, I hope I can. It's the board of education. And you're going to add in yourself. the board, board again? Smart board. Oh. Let's see what the question is this time. I'm about to guess again. You know, I've been Take guessing for most of this. From my trip to Italy a couple of weeks ago. Uh, yeah. Actually, I was thinking I could be the one to ask this question. Uh, no, no. Come look at this Italy photo. This is a picture of a vineyard. What is being grown here? Isn't vineyard... Oh, you're driving me insane. Isn't vineyard... Uh... Grapes? I'm pretty sure vineyards are grapes. Unless I'm dumb. Am I too dumb? You can't say that on TV. I didn't I said dumb! Nice! I've gotta go ride some of the rides while I'm here! Did I earn- See you later. How many points do I have? The banana was blocking it. Am I winning still or am I losing? I'm still winning. It's your turn. Choose another category. Can we end the game while I'm still ahead? That would be nice. I would like to end What's the game the while we're, we're still ahead. It's about to get what wordy. What is the term used to describe a medical treatment or substance with no actual therapeutic value? Uh, wait, uh, medical... Uh, is it placebo you're going with? I didn't, I didn't even really fully... I blanked out for a second. I blanked out so hard, so I didn't even listen. Uh, did I? Okay, it was placebo. I just wasn't listening. You know, I know that the, the uh, necro or whatever is what is happening. What? 
put in the effort and you run. I mean, those are really difficult obbies that I. Someone's changing the channel of the game. To slime. So if anybody wants to trade up, I'm I'm around. Oh, now I'm hungry. I don't blame you for changing the channel. I wasn't paying attention either. I like the little things that they do. You're up to bat again. What category will it be? How long is this? I don't like that. I like that you picked this category. It's I don't like that. Which phobia is the fear of repeating patterns and clusters of small holes? Um, I think it's, I think it's Tyro. I, I, I think so. it's the one that makes you itch. It's the one that makes you itch. I know that. That dude is earning too many points. I keep getting four. This is bull. Hey, so shoelaces, right? What are those little tips on the ends called oh again? God. I don't know. Uh, I think thimble. I think thimble. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I believe thimble. <laughs> you chose wisely. Uh, I didn't. Aglet. Uh. Go ahead. Use your device and put the method. Dude, so many people are going to be mad at me in the comments because I got so much wrong. <laughs> Oh, that's that's funny though. That's funny. Nonsense, non sequiturs. There's... Buckle up. It's about to get weird. Can a match box? Um, yes. One beat Mike Tyson. No, but it, tin can. Is that what it's supposed to be? That seems like it would be. Is it? Good enough. Is mine good enough? How am I gonna get? I have to, I have to get like, oh, dude. I'm not gonna be able to get that. I understand they're nonsense things now. Wasn't that a fun and engaging experience? We're not done yet. Let's see the amazing grand prize for this round. I'm not gonna earn the amazing grand grand prize because I this, I'm screwed. Headshot of Forty, the smart board. Not only very that, good, very nice. Forty himself, one of Canada's most famous and recognizable celebrities, mm. known for his work portraying the iconic mascot character Forty, the smart known board around the world for sure. And other events, Forty has been voted Tech Magazine's smartiest board alive for three consecutive years in a row. Perfect for the ultimate Forty fan or any opportunistic internet reseller. And the lucky winner of this fantastic prize is not me. <laughs> I didn't Here's win this one. Shovelwares brain game grand uh, champion. Well, that's, that's cool. I liked it. Don't touch that dial. Shovelwares brain game will be back with another episode. There's like a lot of like break. little things, which I'm curious what else they have. Oh, he got the gift shop thing. He got the gift shop stuff. And this guy is. Oh, he's doing the Mario. That was the Mario. Uh. That was the Mario thing. Dude, they have a lot of little things. That's so cool. But I think that's going to be it for this episode. It was a different type of game. I'm curious if there's other weird things. But if you guys did enjoy this, you guys already need to do And I will see you guys in the next episode of whatever I make.